So we're going to go ahead and treat this glass with a glass, with a seashell glass system. And basically what we're going to be doing is removing water spots, all coating system like Rinex or anything else, just remove it from the glass. And we're going to show the difference between what a hydrophobic glass, which is when you have a protection, and what a virgin glass, I mean hydrophilic, when the glass is properly prepped for a seashell glass coating. So we're just going to go ahead and spray water. This would be naked eye, it looks like just regular glass. But actually there's one area that is completely deep clean and is hydrophilic and then the other areas still have the old protection that you know constantly you have to be putting it on. So we just go ahead and put water in and you can just see what a protected glass looks like. So this is clean glass. And the idea is that the glass is completely raw before the seashell glass coating goes to the surface. So it can bond straight to the sand, to the silica, and becomes a modification of the surface tension. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, just creates a film or a coating. It actually changes the, the way that the glass uh, repels water. So the way you can tell the glass is properly prepared is it has to dry completely even. As you can see, there's nothing in the glass. So we'll go ahead and, and open a larger section of the glass and just go ahead and polish and then show you how to do the uh, glass system and, and how to apply the coating. We have two different polishing paths for glass windows. We have the jello scrubbing pad. This is to take those hard water minerals, those edge stains, um, remove deep, deep, deep uh, stains that happen in glass for temporal glass and also for chemical tempered glass. So we have two different pads for polishing glass windows. One is our jello scrubbing pad and our final finishing pad for glass, which is a high-end felt pad. So what we do is, this one removes all of the hard minerals and water and etching and staining that happens in the glass. So we'll do a quick demo on how to, as you can see, this area has not been polished and up here it has been polished. So this is the glass polish. It looks like, looks like milk, it's almost like water. The key is to have a surface that is completely wet, so friction won't scratch. Put a little more product in. You can actually mist it with water. And the water that you have a Every bottle you have one spray of MPC that neutralizes the water. So if there was any stubborn stains, any hard water, anything that was not hard to get out, we got it out with the scrubbing pad. So now we go into the finishing pad, which is a felt finishing pad, the same thing. So more water in the surface. And then with the final fish, you've got it really wet. So now the glass is completely deep clean, as you can see. It doesn't beat water anymore. Lower down here, you see all the beading. After polish, it's very good to go back to the felt pad. You can use a disc or you can use a hand felt pad. And you can find it on our website. Make sure the glass is perfectly clean. Very clean towel, brand new to clean the edges. This is a perfect glass to apply the seashell glass coating. So we're going to go ahead and apply the seashell glass coating system so you see how easy it is to apply on a well prepared surface. So 
all the moisture is important that is removed from the glass with a brand new towel, preventing contamination in the surface. This is how I apply the coating using a clean towel. for the glass this glass was well prepared all the contamination and prior protection system or coatings was removed from the surface and wax rain and cleaning was completely removed it was dry and applied a seashell glass coating so now we wait about 24 hours rinse it with water dry it and then apply the seashell nano fresh as a regular maintenance product so every four weeks just apply nano fresh into the surface and the glass will last up to two years or more